I'm going to show you guys two typical ways to approximate 1.999 to the fourth power in calculus 1. They are both local linear approximation. The first way is the linearization and the second way is to use differential. They are of the same degree. We will end up with the same answer. It just depends on how you want to write out your steps. Let's start with the first way first, which is just the linearization, meaning we use the equation of a tangent line. And if you guys want to see more examples on this, you can check out my other videos. Right here, I will write down L of x for the linearization is equal to the value of the function at the a value. And then we add the derivative there, and then we multiply by x minus a. So we linearize the function first. So what function are we talking about? Well, we see that we have this to the fourth power. Then it would be a good idea. So it would be a good idea to define our function to be f of x equal x to the fourth power. And for the a value, well, how do we find that? Just think about it. Why is this so hard? Because of the decimal. How can we make this slightly easier? Imagine if this is a 2, right? Yeah, you want to find the next, like the next easiest number that's easy to compute. That's the a value that you want to get. So in this case, a is equal to 2. And of course, the a value should be close to the number that you are trying to get. Even though we know 1 is easy, right, 1 to the fourth power is really easy, but 1 is too far away to 1.999 compared to 2. Like this and that, very close. So now let's just go ahead and get the things that we need. f of a, right, which is just f of 2. And you see this right here is so much easier. It's just 2 to the fourth power, and that will be 16. So in fact, this will be pretty close to 16 because 1.999 is pretty close to 2. But you have to be really careful though. I will give you guys another video later on that shows you sometimes local linear approximation might not work so well. But let's finish this one first. So this is what we have. Next, we need the derivative. So f prime of x. This is just going to be 4x to the third power. And then we plug in 2 into here. So f prime of 2. This right here is just 4 times 2 to the third power. That's 8 times that is 32. And ladies and gentlemen, linearization for this function at 2 is equal to 16 plus the derivative times x minus a, which is 2. And then let's just work this out. L of x is equal to 32x. And then 32 times that is negative 64 plus 16, which will get positive 48. So we add 48, minus 48, actually. Yeah, minus 48. Okay, so that's what we have. But now, what exactly do we do next, though? Well, we are going to be plugging 1.999 to here. I know this right here doesn't look any easier, right? But yeah, anyway, I will write this down for you guys. Because 1.999 with our function notation, it will be f of 1.999, right? That is exactly what we're trying to get. This right here will be approximately equal to the linearization at 1.999. Therefore, this right here, and this is how we write down the symbols, I'm saying that the linearization is equal to the following. So I'm just saying this is equal to that, but I'm still saying the function at 1.999 is approximately this. Okay, we have 32 times 1.999, and then we minus 48. Wow. And then we just have to compute this, and uh, I cannot do this in my head. So in this case, you might like the differential way better. We will see 15.968. So this right here will be the approximation for that. Okay. So that's the way you go about it. The next way is the differential way. I'm going to erase this so I have more space. And for the differential, we have that nice formula, and that's just going to be 
dy is equal to the derivative of the function and you have that dx. And this is how you go about if you want to use the differential approach. First, we can just say y is the function, which is x to the fourth power, and then the x value is just what we had earlier, the a value, which is 2. And then we will also have to talk about the dx, which is just a change in x. The exact change of in x is the same as dx, because this is the original x value, the x value that we know much better with the function. This is the x value that we want. Be really careful. From here to here, the delta x or the dx is negative 0.001. Why? You always do the one that you want minus the one that you know. So this right here is because we do 1.999 minus the one that we know, so minus 2. That's how we get the negative. Okay. Let's get the derivative. So here we go. dy is equal to the derivative of this, which is 4x to the third power. And then multiply this by dx. And just go ahead and work that out. dy will be 4 times x, which is 2, to the third power. dx is that. So multiply this by negative 0.001. Good, and then this is 32, multiplied by that, it's negative 0 0.032. Cool. Okay, with all this, we are in business. We can approximate this. Let's write this down, 1.999 to the fourth power. I'll tell you, this right here is approximately equal to the y value that we know much better, which is 2 to the fourth power. And then we just have to add the change in y but this is just the approximately change because we use the derivative and this right here is so much easier to find compared to the exact change so what are we trying to say 1.999 to the fourth power is approximately 16 and then dy is actually negative 0 0.032 i think this approach it's easier to compute than that huh yeah i will say so so ladies and gentlemen, we're saying 1.999 to the fourth power is approximately this minus that, which is 15.968. Okay. And again, earlier, f of 1.999, this is the same as 1.999 to the fourth power. So yeah, and then perhaps I'll fix this a little bit. This is the approximated symbol. So that's how I'll do it. That's it.